Since the weather was drawing attention, I decided to make good use of the day inside and take this old, slightly dingy looking armchair and turn it into this. A slightly less dingy looking armchair by way of a slipcover. Frankly, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. But I've been reticent because for one, fabric is expensive and to cover an armchair I need a lot. But I found this 100% polyester plaid for 13 euros per meter, which seems like a good deal to me. The second reason I had not yet tried my hand at making a slipcover is... You may have noticed watching me floundering. I have no idea what I'm doing. The one thing I definitely knew is that I tried to get away without making a paper pattern first or a draft in muslin because, well, both of those are a lot of work and I wanted to get this project done in a day. So, after discussing all the things I didn't do, let's talk about what I did do. I laid out the fabric with the wrong side up and pinned it with the seam allowances showing. So I could sew it on the machine, then turn it inside out and there should be a fitting piece with all seams tucked neatly inside. The arms of the chair were a lot of fiddling. My first idea was to lay tucks and folds in the front, and I ran with that for a good while. There I'm doing some pinning. In the end, I only did this with a few seams because, frankly, I'm quite comfortable with hand sewing and I err towards doing things by hand rather than machine. But this inside out trick definitely works if you're thinking of making a cover for your own furniture. Oh boy, those fronts. It's kind of painful to watch myself pin and unpin that because it's not going to work. Just stop itself. Stop! But good on me for checking on symmetry. With those geometric prints like plaid, asymmetry is really annoying to the eye. Well, my eyes, anyways. Now, 
Watch me sew for an hour only to undo it later. <laughs> uh, you need needles, fairly strong ones for heavy fabric like this. <laughs> more pins, always more pins. A thread, they make special upholstery thread that is really recommended. It'll save you a lot of heartache. And scissors. One large one and one small, because if you bring only one size, you will definitely need the other. And thimbles. These are made myself, but they definitely sell thimbles. Behold, a terrible idea beautifully executed. I really hated how this looked, so I did the entire thing differently on the second side. Much better. And honestly, I'm, I'm really happy that I undid my work to redo it the other way. Finally, I can live with that. The other way would have annoyed me until it followed me into my nightmares. Now let's sew that in place. The back at the top is one big curve, so I'm going to ignore that for right now and do the straight line where the seat meets the back. more fiddling with the second armrest. <laughs> and then the line around the armrest. Pull it in place, cut the axis, pin to the arm and do the same thing on the next section. Best to start with the front, so the part that is most often seen looks nice and any weird angles and folds are reserved for the back where they're much easier ignored. The top curve turned out easier than expected. I just ran my hand up along the backrest, first in the middle and then fanning out, slightly pulling on the fabric and then I pin it in place. The front is looking pretty good. Now the back is all that's left to do. And to be honest, I kind of ran out of steam, so I took a break, had some coffee, and then carried on. And I forgot to turn the camera back on, but I noticed a few minutes in and it kind of still counts. I pinned the top line first, and then cut the bottom to length. The bottom edges of the fabric are pinned to the chair directly. That gives it a neat finish and I can get under the chair with my vacuum without getting tangled in the fabric every time. The chair will stand against the wall so the back doesn't need to be as neat and I decided to put in one big fold that is only pinned and won't be sewn into place. The excess of fabric makes it possible to take the cover off without undoing any sewing. Just in case I need to do laundry or something at some point. And that's it, we're done!
If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, why not subscribe?